Fist on glow, the bottles is on po. Got the shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. What the what up, what up, what up, It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. Pop Dust presents hour number two. Shout out to Lauren Davidson and Brent Butler for holding down the first hour. My guest at this time is a young phenom in the game. She dances, she acts. She's just the most amazing person that you'll ever meet in life. Strong Island's finest. We got Sky Cats in the Dang. building. Hi, everyone. That was What's me up? auditioning as your hype man for when you go on tour. You, so. you got the part. All right. <laughs> then I quit. Good. But Sky, thank you for joining us. For those of you who don't know, Sky is also on the hit Disney original sitcom, Raven Song, which I watch religiously. It's like my 10 o'clock news. <laughs> Between hearing about what's going on in the world and knowing what Tess is getting into, guess what I'm opting for? Figuring out what Tess is getting into. So... Yes. As a fan, thank you for stopping by. And of as somebody course. who loves music, because you got some bars. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and gracing us with your lyrical presence. And you got your DJ with us. You care to give him a little yeah, introduction? Yeah. Yeah. This is DJ Robbie Rob. Up, He's the best ever. And Robbie Rob, thank you for joining us. So, enough of the jibber jabber. You ready to get into it? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. That's how you set up hour number two of Pop Dust Possessed with Sky Cats. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, sorry. You good, you good. I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. All right, he's back. Scott, thank you for joining us. <laughs> so, Change. give the people out there a little bit of background information, um, name, address, um, blood type, um, any... I don't know that third one. That third one? <laughs> I, don't, I actually don't even know that. I don't, I don't either, but yeah, let the people out there know who you are if they're not familiar with you. Okay, well, started off, I was on America's Got Talent for rapping. Bam. And then I kept with that, but then I started acting, and I'm currently on Raven's Home. Bam. Disney Channel, that, the new That's a Raven. Um, it's a spinoff. Uh, yeah, now I'm at Pop Dust. Bam, bam. And, yeah. That's all you need That's to know. That's it, bye. Interview's over. <laughs> <laughs> the mic guy was like, what's happening? <laughs> so, not only acting, but making music and being at such a young age doing so, what is your favorite at this point? My favorite? I can't really choose, but if I had to choose one I was more like thankful to have, like over rapping or acting, it would have to be rapping because if I didn't go on America's Got Talent for music or anything, I wouldn't be on Raven's Yeah, that was pretty much the so springboard. Yeah, that's how I... Like started. Yeah. So, how did Raven's Home come up? Because that's such an iconic children's series. I watched it growing up. Yeah. I also had a crush on Raven Simone. Raven, if you're watching, um, I've loved you since you were Olivia on the Cosby Show. Um, but enough about me. It's, it's about Scott. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. 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 My bad. My bad. My bad. But how did that come about? Because that's such a huge role standing next to somebody who's been doing this their Crazy. whole entire life. So. Um, well, basically, my. After a couple auditions, one of them was Raven's Home. And honestly, in the first meeting I had with my agent, she was like, yeah, you may need to get rid of the New York accent, but there could be a role that's coming up that could love it. It's the neighbor on, on the new That's a Raven. And I was like, okay, okay. But we got a few classes for me to get rid of my New York accent because I thought it would like ruin my chances of getting a lot of of getting a lot of roles so then i auditioned for raven's home and my new york accent was like just really chill so then they were like they called back can you just make the accent a little heavier so then we're like of course we can we've been holding back so we sent that in and then they flew us out to california to audition and that's that is that now more of the story new york is never compromised gang <laughs> gang gang you know what i'm saying <laughs> but that's so cool because once Thank again you. that's such a huge tv show for a lot Iconic. of us growing up and now you get to take on this whole new role as Tess and pretty much bring that to a whole new generation what's the reception been like being on raven's home and getting to introduce that to a newer generation well we have a lot of the fans for the show are very all different because people like you who've been watching it as a kid and then we have obviously the new generation of Disney mm -hmm. kids my age younger so there's a whole the fan base is so different so many different races ages everything it's because everyone can relate to it in different ways so it's made for everyone definitely definitely so we're working with Raven Simone once again somebody who's been doing this their whole entire mm -hmm. life and I can imagine she's just like a wealth of knowledge and wisdom when it oh comes my god to she's it's I can't even explain what it. Are, what insane. are some of the, you know, tricks of the trade that she's, you know, bestowed upon you working with her on Raven's Home? Well, she's obviously amazing at comedy. Mm -hmm. So, so much of com comedic timing. Oh, she's amazing at How that. to, like, make a joke funny. She's, if it's, she makes, she really helps you make 
the character your own and like make it special. Awesome, awesome. So your character, Tess, Tess. she's the neighbor. She's very, very spunky, very, very aggressive, for <laughs> lack of a better term. Was there much preparation that went into the role? Or you were just like, you know what? I'm just gonna be me, just turned up to eleven. It's kind of me, just turned up to eleven, and I'm already turned up to eleven. So I guess it's just me. You know what I mean? I'm already up there. So I guess it's it's really just me, and it was, and it's perfect because Tess is the first role I've ever gotten. Like. And it's the only thing I've done so far because I like just started it. But so it's kind of the perfect role because it's not totally different from who I am. So it's perfect because there's obviously acting in it because you have to act sad, sometimes happy, and all this. But um, it's kind of the perfect thing because it's just me to an extent. So it's a good practice for when I'm in all different types of roles. Awesome, awesome. So from New York, from Long Island, Long and Island? you're a rapper. How did you first get introduced to hip hop? What were some of your earlier influences and what compelled you to well, want to merge the two with acting? Well, um, my sister introduced me to Nicki Minaj and my parents introduced me to all the old school, like Biggie and all that. Oh, shout so out to your parents. Yeah, <laughs> we're, all, we're all very like East Coast, so we love, they've always loved hip hop. And then You're growing I'm, up in a very, very safe and I guess I environment. Am. And yeah. I said this in an interview actually earlier. Most kids come out of the womb crying. I came out of the womb just rapping juicy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was kind of introduced to me by my family, and we're all fans of hip hop, still are, always have been. And I just took it to a new level. I'm on a new level. <laughs> new level would be an understatement because to be so young and be so versatile you. because you're, you're very, very lyrical. Like, listening to a lot of your music, like somebody your age like i wasn't rapping like that at 13. He, 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 he was witnessing when we were doing all the sound check and stuff before this i was just throwing up all the like freestyles we've ever written in the studio and stuff so he witnessed all the like i was like i i still can't rap like that and i've been doing this forever <laughs> but the fact that you seem just so dedicated and just so on on course so so what is the process like when it comes to you know recording and you know writing songs what's that like you know on top of having such a rigorous uh -huh. schedule, taping Ravens home. Yeah, well, I always make time for everything that I want to make time for. So, um, basically, how the songs come together. We're in, we're in the studio and we're like, what should this song be about? And everyone always has an idea and we all make it to come to life with everyone being so talented. It's such a great collaborative effort um, from everyone. And that's basically just how it came down. And But fallback, that came about. And then the video, I actually directed and styled. Um, so everything has its own little special story to it. You're directing your own video. I don't even know where that came from, honestly. It just kind of happened. Do you know I what I was doing where... at your age? What? Nothing. <laughs> you know, I was trying to figure things out. I think I might have liked Linkin Park, but like, other than that, there wasn't much to what's going on today, and there still isn't much. Yeah. But still, nonetheless, this isn't about me. <laughs> but it's just so amazing that at a young age, you're just taking your career by the bullhorns and just stirring it in any Thank direction. You. Because outside of fallback, you're also doing freestyles, and a lot of your freestyles I can see up on you know Hot 97 and Flex, and you just killing it. So thank you. What you know, because we always make the comparison between being a rapper and being an MC, and I feel like you're an MC at such a young age. So what compels you to still want to be competitive when it comes to writing rhymes and performing? Because you have that eye of the tiger. It's like when you Thank hop you. up on the table, it's like, oh, okay. That's, that's where we're at. Um, well, I always want to be the best and the best I can be. So me being the best I can be is being the best because I, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like when people think of me as less than them. So I always want to be either even or above in a way everyone's equal but like you know like above in a way yeah because my you, skills yeah you just feel like you know it's not even so much about being the best because you know you're on yeah. tv it's more so about being proving, the best and proving people wrong obviously like, you look at me you don't think i'm a rapper i think we're all saying that in our heads but you just saw me perform and stuff so i just feel like i always want to push myself and that's absolutely amazing mindset for somebody Thank at your you. age to have because we're at an age where a lot of kids yeah. are discovering themselves and the fact uh -huh. that you know you have a purpose, for lack of a better term, you know, your music and your acting, and there's still so much potential for you to grow and do other things outside of that. What would be some of the words of wisdom you would give to kids at your age trying to pursue something or looking to pursue something? Well, like you've been saying, everyone always thinks it's so shocking that I'm my age doing this, mm -hmm. but it's to me, it's no different than a 
40 year old man doing this and then a 13 year old girl everyone has their own voice and goals in their head but not everyone pushes it to be outside of their head so you really just have to do you and like forget about if people say you're a kid and like adults have more of a voice everyone has a voice like it's it's a matter of your mindset Wow, you're so wise for your age. Can you adopt Thank me? Thank you. He always says that. <laughs> Rob always says that. I'm looking for a new home, and I just figured that, you know, since you have this whole situation. <laughs> my mom, my parents have four kids. I think it's, <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> I mean, I, I you know what? We'll, we'll, talk, <laughs> Forget we'll, we'll, we'll talk after the cameras are off. But um, <laughs> speaking of fallback, very, very dope record. What was the inspiration Thanks. and the preparation behind that song? Who produced it, where you recorded, the video concept, mm -hmm. everything underneath the sun? Well, um, produced it by Slim, shout out to you. He's amazing. Shout out to Slim. There's more coming with us. Um, but fallback, the idea came about because I'm so used to hearing everyone just brag in their songs and like just brag about the things they have. But I felt like it'd be cool if I was kind of a humble brag, because it's cool to be confident, but not so much cocky, and you could have, there's a little fine line between the two, so cocky can come with confidence, but there's a fine line between the two, so I was like, let's do a humble brag, and that's what it really is, falling yeah. back. So pretty much this is you just like, you know, hey guys, you know, very grateful to be here, I'm very happy, but do not get it twisted, I'm a beast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, I didn't say it. <laughs> I'll say it for you. <laughs> and if anybody has a problem, you can talk to Rob. He's a little bit bigger than me. Um, I feel like he can handle those situations and anything that may come your way. So, you know, all in one package included. Shout out to Rob. So, Sky, since you managed to make magic with your music, speaking of magic, you mind handing me that box over there? Okay, see what it is? We call that a segue in the biz. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, back for a second week in a row, the reintroduction of the magical, mythical, pop dust magic box. Ooh. All right, so, let me just... Uh, can I tell you now? Uh, 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 uh. That's very effective. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Patent pending, patent pending. <laughs> So, you're gonna reach right on in. Which one do I take? They all look the same. Anyone, anyone. What's my biggest pet peeve? When people tell me to shh. I talk a lot, but like, you don't have to say shh. You could just say, please stop talking. That's my biggest pet peeve. I hate it, because it's, oh, it comes at the worst times. I'll be in the middle of a thing. They'll be like, shh, just don't. Don't tell me to shh, and don't walk in front of me. Biggest pet peeves, right there. Um, shh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm intimidated now. Um, <laughs> you know what, Rob, since you've been such a good sport, you mind getting in on this? You, you, know, you know what? <laughs> no, I think I got a little. Oh, I'm gonna skip. Oh, 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 oh. Right, all right, all right. Okay, come on. Come in front so they can reach right on in there, brother man. Oh, man, I hope I don't get that crazy. Oh, wow. It's long, okay. Who was the biggest hater you've ever experienced in your career? Oh. <laughs> you don't make me do that. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to name names. Um, there was a guy that uh, used to do some uh, <laughs> promotions at GM Records when I was DJ with 50. Mm. <laughs> he know who he is, but <laughs> he hate on me and it ain't work. Love me at the sky, man. We should have hey, sky. Hey, hey, sky's the limit. <laughs> Yo, it didn't work, because they right here yeah. on Pop Does. So Pop guess does. what? You failed. Congratulations. You played yourself. Yeah. Haters are my motivators. Let our haters be our motivators. Right. So, Scott, what do you have coming up next that we can be a part of and witness? Because, once again, you're on a rocket ship to the moon right now. We all want to be a part of the journey. So what are some of the new ventures that you have coming up? Well, music times acting, because it's in both. Um, Raven's Home season two, we have a musical coming up. So it'll show all of, it will show my, me playing basketball, it'll show me rapping, it'll show me acting, obviously. Um, you saying that, yeah, I'm really like excited. the little little girl in me just screamed at the thought of a musical, but I'm gonna keep it together. <laughs> no, keep no, it together. no, you'll see it, you'll see it. Keep that it and 
actual like music music wise um i have a lot of new music coming let's just say that that's i mean less is more because i can't really say anything Shh, you don't have to stay tuned really Oh, I was choosing them. I wasn't choosing you. See? It was a setup. It was a setup. I was praying. I was choosing them. I'm on your side. You got you. So, Rob, anything you got coming up, man? I mean, I got your stuff for her. I mean. Yeah, we have so many shows coming up. Yeah, and, like, yeah, we're traveling. It's really yeah. dope. Definitely. Yep. I'm my energy. She's my energy. She keeps us going. We stay lit. We say, yup. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork definitely making the dream work. <laughs> Yeah, Let the people know where they can find you at on social media, websites, and all that. So stuff. promo, okay. Um, Sky Cats, really on everything besides Snapchat. Sky Cats raps. They don't let you change your name, so I couldn't do that. So just S K Y K A T Z. That's it. Rob. Oh, um, everything is at DJ Robbie Rob DJ R O B E R O B. Everything. Plain and simple. How about you? Oh, me? Where you at? <laughs> well, for the viewing audience, you can find me on social media at D E A S C E N T. I know that's not how you spell decent. I went to public school. Do not judge me. <laughs> but once again, Robbie. He's dishing Rob. everyone who goes to home school right now. What? No, I'm. See, <laughs> Sky, start like, I gotta leave here. Do not get me beat up, right? <laughs> I do not want to be Rob Hater's coming for you. I do not want to be beat up by the Disney Channel faithful, right? <laughs> That's not something I want on my resume. Gangs the I Disney can take. Channel Illuminati is coming. Gangs I can take, but not the Disney Channel Illuminati. Got I'm it. just saying. Got but it. thank you guys so much for stopping by. Make sure you guys get Sky Single Fall Back. Make sure you check out the video and make sure you check her out on season two of Raven's Home on the Disney Channel. For all of us here at Pop Dust Presents, I am decent. Shout out to Dan Victor. Shout out to Brent Butler. DJ Robbie Rob, can you please play us out? Yeah, stay tuned to this. Get full back. It's streaming on Spotify. It's everywhere. iTunes. Over a million views on YouTube. Please keep yeah. reposting, resharing, making that record big as we can. Let's go, Scott. Still learning my math, but I've amounted this. Don't power trip, see miles and miles of this. Don't count the compliments, just proud of this. Yes, this child's fist don't need a bib, just need a Mac like Bulls in 96. From dad's allowance to accountants counting this. Ooh. Crossover like Iverson, I made me this. This lady is the hip hop, but Brady is to the Patriots. Mainly it's because I never hate or quit. Ranging this is space, bound I know it's getting there because I say it is. Sneak ahead, but no defeat is dead. I gotta be the best, so gotta beat the best. I can see the test, I can see and flex. You gotta see instead, I gotta de stress. Ooh. Gotta sing a dress, I got that Disney crest, gotta wrap these. Drops, gotta be in school through the three. It's what I never had to take. Cause at 10 p.m. I gotta be in bed. Wow. My okay. curfew just went viral. Peace. That's my favorite freestyle. She had to do that for me. Pop dust, we out of here, baby.